in the world of social media or today, you can get bombarded by these just overly complicated, overly overbuilt, uh, just hero builds, you know, putting portals on or custom suspensions, stuff that's just outside of the world of practicality. And to me, this here is the best or the most built Toyota Tacoma because it's not just built for likes and shares. It was actually through the brain, the brainchild of Mr. James over here. Uh, he built a rig that could go up, up to the Rockies and have just a, a great time with his family. And it's a tradition that he's carried on for many, many years. And this is a result of that. So how long have you had your Tacoma? Um, since 2009, that's, in, that's the year model of the truck. So you bought it brand new? Yes, and my wife will tell you she bought it. It's oh. her truck. It, that's why my IG handle is wife's Tacoma, that wife's so taco. <laughs> All of what it has done when you bought it, like was this your intention? Well, after I kind of took over it for my wife, yeah, yes, it was my intention. But when, when she got it, she needed it because she needed more room in the back seat for her child. We went and looked a couple of vehicles and I, we talked about it and I told her I like, you know, I've always liked Toyotas. So that's why we went ahead and she got, she drove and loved it. And, and that's why we bought it. What is your favorite modification on this vehicle? Um, surprisingly, it's something that you don't really think about. You think about lockers and everything like that, and which it has, and it, it, they're great gears and lockers and armor. But uh, really, the the steering, since I'm running 35s, uh, they're getting a little difficult to turn off road, especially, or if I'm not moving, even on dry pavement. So um, I got the uh, uh, conversion for this Tundra steering rack and that helped a lot. And then we dropped in a HAL performance um, GM, basically a GM power steering pump. And now it drives so effortlessly. Yeah, it's actually really surprising that I can turn the, the steering wheel with like a pinky. Yeah, pretty so, much. Yeah. But the, 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 the other thing is when you, when you approached me and said, hey, I got a Tundra rack I want to put in there. I'm like, how is that going to even fit? <laughs> yeah. I think you're one of the first, you're one of the, you're definitely the first one in the shop to get it done, but you were also, I feel like you're one of the first actual people like that was outside of somebody experimenting, like actually getting that, that modification. Yeah, yeah, that was a little scary since I had nobody else's to really lead me to, to how to have you guys do it. But you guys, you know, tandem sure took, it, took over it and made it work. So I know that you, you attend Toyota Jamboree, but that's not like the main place you take it. So like, uh, I know you've been pretty much most of the Midwest. Or the, mid, the, the, Rockies. the Rockies, Rockies, yeah. Utah and Colorado are, are my family and um, started in, I guess, probably continuously since 97, we've been going to URA, Colorado every summer to do off-roading. And um, we've kept the same little core group and we go every year and that's our big, big off-roading, you know, week and a half trip uh, of nothing but fun with our families. And is this your first off-roading vehicle or have you had others in the past? Well, what got me started was a friend of mine, Frank, had a, in 1979, he had, he got a little, I was driving a Firebird back then, you know, in high school and, you know, power and speed was everything, but he got a little Nissan pickup and we went, you know, we got in there and we just went out in the back and it was just, I just love being the get away from anything and you're not bound by the pavement. So I ended up getting a, a Nissan King Cab, uh, the first year of them. And uh, it was still called Datsun back then, really. And uh, that's what got me hooked. And I switched over to a Jeep, which I had for less than a year because every time I took it off road and tried to go up a hill, the engine would die. And I put dropped a bunch of money into it, trying to get it to where it would run off road, climbing hills and got tired of trying to do that. So, and this was back in the carburetor days. So never got that taken care of. So I traded that Jeep in for a 85 Forerunner back in 1985. And that's what really sunk in and still hasn't let go of me. Although I still wish I had that first gen Forerunner. 
Because as pretty much as everything goes on with this rig, everything has a function. Uh, there's a reason to why it's on the vehicle and why he's done it. But really beats it is when you sit inside and you're sitting in here and you can see the miles. And then you kind of just think if this truck could talk, the stories it would tell you. And the one thing that I can absolutely appreciate most about this Tacoma is that everything has a function. There's a reason to it. And, and there's a story as to why he did it. And I wish I had a lot more to cover, but I think this video would be hours long if we sat James down and explained every little intricacy that we did with his vehicle and what he's done before he even came to us. So if you're really wanting to know more about this Tacoma and maybe want me to convince James to have us a, a deeper, deeper dive on this taco, comment down below and let me know. But that's this week's customer overview on James Tacoma.